Welcome to back to Y254 Business Tuesday. My name is Miriam Masava, and today we are talking matters innovation and entrepreneurship in digital space. Now, Gender CS Margaret Kobia officially handed over the State Department for Youth to the Ministry of ICT. This comes after President Uru Kenyatta announced that the Youth Affairs was moving to the ICT docket in the recent cabinet reshuffle. You know, youths make at least 60% of the Kenyan population. Now, I don't know why the move of the department to, to, to the ICT ministry, but to help me discuss these matters, technopreneurship among the youths is Brian Waivera, founder, Convenience Design Limited. Karibu sana, Brian. Sandy. Yes, yes. Now let's just jump into that point where the, the Youth Affairs Department was moved to to ICT ministry. Mm -hmm. Why? Why did the government do that? And what, what does it mean? What does it mean when the, when the president reaches such a decision to move the department to the ministry of ICT? First of all is to thank you for having me. Yes, Karibu. And on to the discussion, I believe that the government believes or basically is the trend that the future of employment mm -hmm. is, in the, is in the digital space on the internet mm -hmm. or and innovation. Okay. And therefore having the ICT ministry directly interacting with technology and the internet, I believe it's therefore prudential to have it, the ministry uh, directing youth affairs. Mm -hmm. yeah. But basically, you know, when you hear technopreneurship, you mm -hmm. think of technology and entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. but what does <coughs> it actually mean? What does technopreneurship mean? Actually, entrepreneurship tech, tech, uh, is, uh, is not much different from the, uh, the usual entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. It's only that it refers to uh, a niche mm -hmm. of entrepreneurship, whereby you discover a technological related idea on the internet mm -hmm. and then you commercialize it. Mm -hmm. So uh, unlike the traditional form of entrepreneurship, whereby maybe you may decide to set up a hardware or you set up a kiosk, mm -hmm. Technopreneurship doesn't uh, doesn't uh, require all those things. Mm -hmm. It just requires the internet. So what's the difference? What's the difference <coughs> between old and new? So there's a lot of differences. Yeah. But I think uh, the, the loudest is uh, with regard to the capital. For mm -hmm. example, with the old tech, uh, entrepreneurship, you require fixed capital. Mm -hmm. Maybe you, uh, the first thing you may require is an office mm -hmm. or a, a shop, something physical. Mm -hmm. But for tech. All you need is your computer, be it a desktop or a laptop and connection to the internet. So you set up your business online? Yeah, basically set up your business online. So it's kind of an e-commerce? Not necessarily e-commerce. Not, not necessarily. E-commerce is just one part mm -hmm. of technopreneurship. So technopreneurship actually is wild. Yeah. It's wide. Huh? Very much. Yes. <laughs> okay. So and what, what do you need to, to, to begin or to become a technopreneur? Like any business, mm -hmm. you need an idea. Mm -hmm. you, uh, and I think te uh, technopreneurship is mo uh, much requires an idea than the old entrepreneurship. Because now, in the old, you just, re uh, you just realize that, for example, in agriculture, people just say that every, every human has to eat. Mm -hmm. And therefore, you're not investing in agriculture because you have noted a niche, but because of the fundamental law laws mm -hmm. of humanity. Mm -hmm. But for technopreneurship, you have to, to identify an idea. For example, you've, you've mention, mentioned Uber in your news and uh, mm -hmm. of how they, they, they sold their business to Zomato mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. India. Mm -hmm. So Uber, Uber Eats discovered that people had a challenge, especially as the world is becoming more busier. They had a challenge uh, getting to food kiosks and cafeteria. And so they, they chipped in mm -hmm. and provided a platform mm -hmm. to connect the hoteliers and the consumers. Mm -hmm. So essentially the first thing you need is an idea. Idea, then what else? Then from there, uh -huh. uh, you may need skills. Uh -huh. For example, uh, essentially to be on the internet, you need to have the technical skills, for example, programming. And if, even if you're not a good programmer, you need to get someone who is good in programming mm -hmm. so that maybe you can merge up a partner and launch your, uh, launch your technology business. So there's a lot of programming, a lot of coding involved, a the lot of creating websites. Uh, that, that's one bit. So, so you management. can actually use Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all those social media platforms to, 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 when it comes to technopreneurship, or is it necessarily website and all those apps? 
Now, when, when you're using uh, Facebook uh, to do business, mm. basically Facebook is the, uh, or are the one who are in the techno, uh, techpreneurship. Mm, okay, that's the difference. Yeah. Because, because now people are... get confused actually. Mm -hmm. When you mention technopreneurship, mm -hmm. they're thinking it's just your Facebook page and mm -hmm. your Twitter page and your Instagram. But actually it's act creating a whole thing from scratch, right? Facebook is, okay now, having a Facebook page, an Instagram uh, account, mm. or being on LinkedIn, that is just a component. Okay. Uh, and it will come in uh, under the marketing of your techno, uh, techpreneur idea. Mm. But now, for example, uh, Facebook have already invested in the, in the con communication idea uh, for techpreneurship. Mm -hmm. And therefore, maybe you, 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 for you to specialize, you can decide, let me come up with my own Facebook to connect older people, mm -hmm. just old people. So now that, that will be your own gap in techpreneur. Okay, as, as, as per youths, mm -hmm. where do we stand when it comes to tech? Entrepreneurship, because have we really embraced it, or are we just yeah. lacking behind? We are sitting on this gold mindset of embracing it and maximizing it. Actually, I've embraced it mm. uh, as Kenyans mm. and Africa, especially Kenya and Nigeria. Mm. People, are, uh, you, you are continually and massively investing in techpreneur. Uh, for example, you, you may find that in Kenya there are hundreds of startups that are that are launched, and by the way. Mm. When you launch uh, your business uh, as techpreneur as a techpreneurship, it is called a startup. But okay. now in the old uh, entrepreneurship, it is just a business. <laughs> okay. So now you find that uh, a lot of Kenyan youths they have invested in in, in startups, and if you want to, to view some, mm -hmm. you you just need to watch the fu uh, funding shows like uh, this Safari Com program for youths yeah. and K uh, KCB. To mm -hmm. Some of those you will find that they are funding those ideas and you find that there are hundreds of people who are applying. Those are hundreds of ideas. So that means we need more innovation hubs like uh, because I'm aware of iHub, mm -hmm. see there's Nylab, something yeah, like that. So exactly. we need such innovations. Exactly. Uh -huh. But now those uh, iHub and Nylab, you find that they work as in incubation centers. Mm -hmm. That's another component of entrepreneurship. Now, uh, now you go with your idea. For example, you realize that uh, in the media, maybe there is no one, there is no one who is specializing in uh, in making documentaries, and you want to make documentaries, and then you sell them under a video on demand, mm. like uh, Viusasa or something. And so you go, you go to Nylab, and you tell them mm. that you have this idea, but you don't have capital or resources. Mm -hmm. So they will host you in the offices and nurture you until your idea goes to the market. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And where are some of those challenges when one wants to start such a venture, one wants to venture into such a thing? What are some of the challenges? Uh, I, I wouldn't say capital is a challenge mm. much because now capital, mostly it comes at, as a, at a later stage. Mm -hmm. Because now the first challenge is for you to begin. Beginning? Yeah, beginning. Beginning a, a tech, tech startup is not something easy. And, and f for example, you have to have skills. Mm -hmm. And if, if you don't have those skills, you have to look for someone competent who have those skills. And now the next thing is perseverance. Okay. Because now you realize that most of those t uh, ideas and startups, they, they may take up to five years before they, they turn a profit. Mm -hmm. And therefore, if you don't have the perseverance to survive uh, under uh, economic hardships, you may, you may give, give up along the way. Mm -hmm. The other thing is management. Because now, you may find that uh, you're good in programming, so you can structure, you can structure a software, but now you, you're, you're poor in marketing. Mm -hmm. So you develop your program, and you, you complete it, but then you stay with it in your house or in your office. No one is using it because you didn't market it. Mm -hmm. And actually, that's a very big problem, mm -hmm. marketing. Marketing is a yeah. challenge. Yes, apart from marketing and other challenges, mm -hmm. what, are this, what are the easiest hacks mm -hmm. for a beginner? The easiest hacks for a beginner? Mm -hmm. Nowadays, the, the hacks are very many. Because now, if you, if you decide to launch, uh, let's say, a mobile app, mm -hmm. mobile app to do a particular thing, nowadays we have uh, dra something we call drag and drop uh, platforms for making an application that cuts the cost of of, of the traditional mobile development by almost 80 percent and so so the the, the, the first hack you, can, you you may decide to look for such platforms and you accelerate 
your, your project. The second hack is instead of focusing on completing your, pro uh, your program, mm -hmm. you may decide to first of all have something called an MVP, a minimum viable product, mm -hmm. and take it to the market mm -hmm. and see if the market will respond uh, to your idea and if there's someone who is interested. If there's none, perhaps then you, you don't invest your resources in, uh, such mm -hmm. as time and money. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, when it comes to technology, mm -hmm. How is Kenya performing when it comes to technology and investing technology in the digital space? Because I know mm -hmm. Kenya is leading somewhere with Nigeria because mm -hmm, yeah. you had mentioned Nigeria. Mm -hmm. How is it performing so far? I, I cannot treat Kenya on a scale of one to ten, mm. but qualitatively I can say we are on the right track. Yeah. Because, uh, and for you to know that we're on the right track, we just need to look at the number of startups we're having. Mm -hmm. And if you go to, you mentioned Nilab. If you go to Nilab and uh, I, I, I have, you realize that there are a lot of startups, which shows you that there is a market for mm. technology, mm. and it shows that we are continually adapting mm -hmm. uh, tech startups. So it's a bright future for, for us. Very bright. Yeah. Very we all bright. need to embrace it. Yeah, very bright. Yes, yes. And as we finalize this, mm -hmm. how do you begin? How did you begin as a founder? for Convenience Design Limited. Maybe just share your journey and how people can contact you and how and what you do. So, uh, personally, I, I began uh, the long way mm. of, of learning to code. Uh, I, I had to learn to code before now I, I started up the, the venture. Mm -hmm. So now after I, I learned design, uh, design and then programming, mm -hmm. now I learned uh, manage, uh, business, business marketing and management. And then from there, you, you make your website. Mm -hmm. After the website goes live, and you do the optimization, such as uh, search engine optimization. And then you now create Facebook pages, uh, Instagram pages, and you start sharing your, your services. Mm -hmm. And now, when you realize that maybe there is uh, there's something here, people are buying your services, now you proceed and register as a company. So now that, that's, that, that has been two years since uh, I began. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe you can mention your your company and how people can reach you. So uh, I founded Convenience Designs Limited. You can find us at convenience.co.ke, mm -hmm. and the business the business number is zero seven four three seven five zero three eight five. Yeah, on Instagram, on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn, we we are called Convenience Designs. Okay. Yeah. So we can actually agree that. Mm -hmm technology and the digital space mm -hmm. is such a gold mine. It's a, go it's, it's a black Wide mine. and gold mine, yeah. yes. Yes, so final comments to Kimalizia. So I, I would like to tell anyone uh, who has a, a, an idea, uh, a entrepreneur idea, to never give up. Because now, in my in that line of business, uh, I've come across uh, individuals who have ideas, brilliant mm -hmm. ideas. Mm -hmm. But now, because now you can't be in the industry alone, so you realize that you have your idea, but there's another one in the market. So you give up. Mm -hmm. You give up after uh, uh, investing. Uh, for example, there's someone who invested 10,000 mm -hmm. at the initial stage of designing your software. But now, before uh, we proceeded to develop development, they gave up under, uh, under the fear of competition. So I would like to tell anyone who wants to venture into entrepreneurship, never give up. Do not give up. Mm -hmm. Just make sure you do your market analysis clearly before you even invest your resources so that by the time you are going to, to invest your time in design and software development, mm -hmm. you, are already, you, are already, you are already sure that no matter the competition, you have something unique. Yes. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Brian. Well, that, that was Brian Wevera, founder Convenience Designs Limited. Now, we can agree that this topic is so what? So we will continue this discussion, part two of this discussion. We'll be discussing why the foreigners are really running up to the digital space, the Kenyan digital space, and why they are investing so much, and even opportunities where you can actually venture into. So join me next Tuesday for this discussion. But for now, let us leave it at that point, yes? My name is Miriam Masava. Thank you so much for staying with me here on Business Tuesday. Good night, and God bless you.